Hey, so I'm here with Marissa, aspiring LPGA Tour player. Hi guys, I'm Marissa Masana, and I am playing on the Smetra Tour for my second year now. I grew up in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, went to Clemson University, and now I'm playing professionally. So you struggle with a couple things with the ball on the ground. Hitting a shot off the turf is hard for everybody, but even you sometimes have a hard time hitting nice solid shots with even a seven or an eight iron. Mm. Sound about right? Okay. Unfortunately. Yeah, yeah so let's, <laughs> let's work on that one. So I'm interested, I'm really curious to show you some measurements because mm -hmm. that, uh, we, we talked a little bit about your game and how you think about golf, but being able to quantify things to do yeah. different help you recognize if you're doing them enough or too much or the right amount. Yeah, that's huge. Sound good? Yeah. Okay, and then uh, you have a, a particular flaw in your swing that is really common for what people who watch this tend to have too, which is how you move yourself around through the ball. Uh-huh. Okay. So let's take a look at this last swing you made, and we'll start right at address, not to skip around too much, but um, most of your backswing looks fantastic. Like, uh, this isn't any issue whatsoever, top of the swing. So to give you an idea of what we're doing here, we've got uh, all those numbers that you see up there. Mm -hmm. Some of those pertain to you and some of them don't. They're color coded just to help you recognize how close you are to like an average of the LPGA Tour players mm -hmm. that play really good and those that mm -hmm. you want to beat anyway. Mm -hmm. So I'll talk about some of that when, when there's a good time for it, but there really isn't right now. That's awesome. <laughs> Whatever you're doing on the backswing, keep going. Now where this starts to get a little bit uh, interesting to me, I think is on the downswing. So when you get to where the shaft's parallel to the ground, somewhere right around here, you notice how some of those numbers that weren't red before are starting to turn red? Mm -hmm. And you even see like some blue numbers. Let me show you what those are all about here. So first one, you had, you had a little bit of a question on shoulder tilt and your hip tilt. So at this point in time, let me pull up a stud golfer here that you'll recognize, and we'll check this one out. I'm gonna move him to the same spot you are where the shaft's parallel to the ground. Okay. And here's what I notice that's different, and you are gonna stop me if any of this doesn't sound right or you have a question. You notice the tilt of his shoulders? Yeah. How much more to oh the goodness. right those are tilted? <laughs> Yours are pretty level, but it's being measured even as slightly to the left. And then even his hips are angled more to the right as well. Mm -hmm. So with yours being uh, that that tilt is what makes it easier for you to actually reach the ground, but the side tilt to the right is the piece that uh, you're really lacking the most. Yeah. So you're about ready to smash the club into the ground <laughs> because you're bent forward and your shoulders are level. Uh -huh. So your angle of attack's more down. So yeah. the way that you uh, reconcile that to not hit a bad, really fat shot is to start to flex your left elbow. And we'll mm. keep going just a few more. And mm -hmm. you notice how you've got the shaft forward which is a good trade in, in great players. That's why you do this so well. But we'll do the same thing with Colin here. And the number that sticks out as red in this one is the shoulder tilt again. So his shoulders are probably tilted. They've continued to tilt to the right. That's mm -hmm. changed ever so slightly from when the shaft's parallel to there. Um, in the mid 20s, so you're at about 10. Wow. So you had mentioned how sometimes you feel like your head moves forward, uh -huh. and it does. I'll move it out to the side of the TV. That shoulder sway is really like the center of your shoulders moving mm -hmm. towards or away from the target. Right, yeah. Yours at three and a half inches towards is a good two inches closer to the target uh -huh. than it should be. Uh -huh. So one of your questions was, what do I do in the downswing? And it, do I need to feel like I move forward? Right. Am I moving back enough? You need to tilt your shoulders more to the right. You do that by keeping your head really still. And I'll show you how to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now instead of these next hits, we're gonna practice uh, you can see the space between your elbows and how flexed your arms are. Mm -hmm. We're gonna stop doing that very quickly here today. <laughs> now coming through the ball, this one is the, the part that's maybe more important. The shoulder bend is that 25 degrees forward, and you notice how you're still almost looking down at the ground. Yeah. Um, your hips are bent backward, but not enough either. Take a look at how Colin hits this when his right arm is parallel to the ground. And you'll see a lot more of the backward bending of his yeah. torso. Like when mm -hmm. you look at his back, you see how stretched <laughs> out he is here. Now yours is almost straight up and down. Yeah. Good with that. Um, his left leg's really straight, yours are too. But you need to hit this shot with some understanding of how to tilt yourself to the right on the way down and then coming through the ball, actually bending yourself backward through the shot. Mm -hmm then you can keep your arms really yeah. straight. And mm -hmm. then just learning how to coordinate that mm -hmm. will be the secret for you to hit the ground in the same spot every time.
but you come through the ball not turning enough, not bending right. backward enough, not side yeah. bending enough mm -hmm. to the right, and then you're left at uh, the mercy of how well you pull your elbow apart and how quickly <laughs> you extend your wrist. I hate that. It's like more of a game <laughs> of chance, right? Yeah. The piece about the follow through, I get asked all the time, why does this matter? The ball's already gone. Well, it's influencing how you hit the ball. How you achieve that. So position. if you do this picture closer to your tour averages or the best players in the game, it changes how you hit. That's yeah. why this is almost the most important part to get right. Yeah. So one to look at here, you notice his trail heel, mm. how it's just over his foot, mm -hmm. and how your heel's further yeah. back. Mm -hmm. That's the, the way that'll go away, would be the, uh, just keep pushing your hips towards the target, mm -hmm. and up, mm -hmm. like high, and then that'll drag your heel closer to your toe. And then all that stretching that you do is like from your, your shirt buttons up. Okay. It's more like your neck. <laughs> Make sense? Yeah. Kind of? Okay. And I don't know, do you try to keep your head down when you hit these? No. Or is it just more <laughs> I've always done that since I doing? was 10 years old. People okay. always tell me that. <laughs> gotcha. Keep your head down or that's just No, no. Done? Okay. So let's keep going even a few more frames. So you saw okay. how backward bent he was. Uh -huh. Wow. And we match that again. He's still bending himself backward. By wow. now, uh, I'm going to measure this when your right arm's parallel to the ground. Uh -huh. Currently, this will be the number that we're going to chase in a few practice swings. Your shoulder bend is 24 degrees forward, 22-ish, I'll start with that one. That's where you need to be at least five degrees backward. So you've got 27 more uh, wow. pieces of backward bend. Wow. So right now you're standing where your shoulder bend is just zero. Uh -huh. So just keep bending your, your neck back and your torso back, your shoulders back. That's how it's got to feel when your arms are parallel through the, through the hip. Yeah. Kind of makes sense? Yeah. Okay. So that's a lot of words, so I'll make you do this with less instruction, but there's a lot of different parts in there, but that's the picture that's really causing you the most issues. Okay. Sound good? Okay. Yeah, simple let's enough. Do. All right, so first one, let's just do a couple practice swings. And I think, why don't you just throw the club down on the ground? Because I kind of want to teach you just how to move first, okay. and then we'll hit some shots too. So start with just posing where the shaft would be parallel to the ground on the way down. Okay, this is the time when you start to do the hips mm -hmm. forward and the shoulders backward. Mm -hmm. And then just keep moving your arms around all the way up till your right arm's parallel to the ground. What do you think about, you know how they say like keep your butt against the wall? Yeah, you need to do that. Yeah. You're so doing that part okay. I am? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's the, the hip slide or shifting yeah. yourself to the left. Right, which I'm not doing properly. With your head to the right, that's what will help you do that. Oh, okay. So here. Yeah, and then go to where your right arm's parallel to the ground. Okay. And then turn your head, and you should feel like your neck's even Ooh, back. So that's why we're doing this without a club. It's pretty simple to do. Like uh, the, that movement is uh -huh. just more complicated when you start holding the club uh -huh. or even having your arms together. So uh, pose this one for me since that was a little awkward for you to do. Just start with your weight on your front foot and your heel up into the air like mm -hmm. you would do your follow through. Mm -hmm. Okay, bring your hips up as high as you can go. You got it. And then keep turning to watch that hitting screen and tilt your shoulders a touch more to the right. There's your follow through. So when you look at that picture over here, we'll just compare that. Getting you to that spot is the harder one for you to do right now. But let me show you what that looks like so you can get an impression of it. So most of the most lessons are start by just kind of learning what to do. Right, yeah. Then you can start hitting it. Uh -huh. But this is where the wheels fall off. So now you've got, uh, you can use that TV that's in the background. You can see how much more your hips are towards the right. target. <laughs> oh, wow. You can see uh, how the backward bending is 12 back here versus where we started, which was 24 forward. Wow. Does that make sense with yeah. the bending part? Uh -huh. I know I, did, I went fast to describe that. No, no, it's clear. So let's do a couple more of those. And then know that that moving that you're practicing now starts when the shaft is right about here, 45 degrees to the ground. That's when you'll start to feel like you raise your hips up, push them towards the target, arms really straight, and then even watching the ball hit the screen mm -hmm. sooner. Because that extending of your neck is important to help your shoulders go back too. Right. Now you're mocking that out well, so let's do a couple more of those. Okay. Now, the same thing in. I think it's important. Oh, yeah. Because I don't want to fake it like back because I no. feel like my tendency is going to be to go like this. Sure, and everyone starts that way. That's a fair point too. So okay. yeah, that's where even my instruction to you first get was that. move all the way to the left. Yeah, I can make this, okay. Yeah. 
You got it. And if you fell, fall back on the first couple, that's okay, but know that it's just where your hips are. They just have to keep moving this way. Okay, rotating? Start. Yeah. So there, this one you did on your own. I think I just filmed a practice swing here. So all that movement is good. Shoulders are tilted more to the right. Here's a comparison again. So there's number one. Keep referring to number one because it's just an easy, easy comp for you here. So your shoulders are turned more, 91 degrees versus the 66. Your shoulder bend is backwards more, 13 relative to the 25. Your hips are up higher. Same thing with the TV. They're moving closer to the hole. Yeah. So all that moving, where you get close to the ball and you stop moving yourself, yeah. you really just hit and roll right. the shaft and extend your wrist. Uh -huh. You've got to, at that point in time where the shaft's 45 degrees, you got to almost put it into high gear on how you're going to move yourself more. Right. Get it out of the way. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so let's do one with a club. Oh, you don't even need a ball yet. Okay. No. <laughs> we'll get there. You're going to do this with a ball, but this is a good way to learn how to do it. <laughs> so you can do whatever backswing you want and then try to hit that follow through uh, in the positioning that we talked about. Good. Okay, so you don't need to turn your foot as much. Mm -hmm. That can still stay, if anything, if this is 90 degrees, straight up and down vertical, you don't need to go past that. Yeah. That's just a good way to learn, though. Okay. Okay, keep your pelvis forward like that, your arms, so your model student up there, right? Uh -huh. Okay, do that one more time. And then hold your follow through one, one more. Good, you got it. Fix okay. your foot. And this is good, this is how you want to practice. Just stop here. Fix your foot, make sure your hips are in the right spot, keep your arms really straight, do the backward bending of your neck, right. and then you can just do it again. And when that gets easy, then we're gonna put a ball down. It's probably one more swing. Good, almost there. Why does I feel wanna go like there? Well, you're not used to having your shoulders turning. Your shoulders are open about 30 degrees more than they were. Yeah. So with that, your hips are turning more, and with that, your ankle's turning more. Yeah. So you don't have a regulator for that yet. <laughs> Good. Okay. <laughs> Every time. I... That was great. All right, one more time. And then this one to help you with that. Uh, remember the side bend and you yeah. asked about your head moving forward? Right. Do the same thing. I'm just putting the stick Keeping up by that. your ear. Okay. But it's like six inches away. Oh, wow. Now, if you do this wrong, you'll go home with a nice red mark on your face. <laughs> but uh, don't hit your head. Same form. Good. Okay. Can you hit one like that? It doesn't have to go any harder than that. Okay. I'm still going to keep this stick up there. Okay. Hold your follow through, even if you hit me with the ball, Marissa, mm -hmm. <laughs> which I know you're not going to do. Even if you do, just hold your follow through. Okay. Ready? Nice. Okay, let's compare those. Well, I know that was a tiny hit. How was the hit? Well struck. That was really good. All right, so check this out. They look pretty similar here, right? Okay. Do you see a whole lot of difference in that one? A little, little bit. No, well, it should be about the same. Okay. You didn't really say do much different there. Okay. It's all the rest that's going to be different now. So here's your first one. Ugh, I hate that. It's not that bad. No. <laughs> I can get, I get it though. When you've watched yourself yeah. hit so many balls, you don't like some of these pictures, but you got to figure out how to change them. Yeah. Okay. So your arms are straighter at impact on the one on the right. Let's start doing some measuring in here. Let's start with this one. You notice that look almost of uh, how you're looking down, yeah. like if you drop the contact lens out of your eye, or <laughs> that's the look we're trying to get rid of here. So now you're gonna keep bending yourself backward, keep raising up your hips, and we're at about the same point in time with your right arm, so those are about the same. Mm -hmm. Your shoulders have turned seven degrees more, yeah. and your shoulder bend is the big one I'm trying to get after, one back. So 67, yep, yeah. and then the 24 forward. So besides Natalie Gulbis, no one is more bent forward, I think, on the LPGA Tour, and she doesn't really play anymore, than what you are on that one on the left. Wow. It's that far away from yeah. like your peers or where you're trying to hit. Um, I'd asked you some about, uh, do you hit it far enough? This is a big part to hit it far. Like, uh, it's like doing a deadlift. You need to rip that weight off the ground. Uh -huh that helps you move the butt into the club really fast. Yeah, yeah. Instead, you're trying to move your arms really fast by you, but you're staying flexed forward so that your range right, of motion is getting, challenging. Yeah. You're just not using 
yourself as a right. like a catapult in there. Mm -hmm. So uh, first you see, does it look different enough to you? Mm -hmm. Okay, now that's a tiny little chip shot. Now we need to start going harder. Right. So let's do one more chip that way. Then okay. we're gonna hit like really your normal backswing, your normal downswing, smash the ball out there, still trying to stop really short like that with all those yeah. components still in there. Okay. That makes sense? Okay. Yes. You're doing awesome. Am I answering your questions mm -hmm. so far? Okay. So another one that's like whatever speed that was. Okay. 25%, 30%, and hold your follow through again. Nice. Oh, you're ready. Okay. Rip that thing out there. That's awesome. Shot. So whatever that was with speed, we can go a little faster, mm -hmm. but uh, same form with the follow through, trying to throw the brakes on. Oh, okay. So stopping it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I'll show you how to do the rest of the swing from there, Okay. but that's the part you need to get right. Okay. Okay. So smash this one, whatever you would normal speed with an eight iron. Good. Oh. Okay. <laughs> a little bit fat, right? Yeah. With the hit. Okay. So that what that should tell you is that you've, you, you might have done the swing okay, but if it's fat, you need to try to do that even more and faster with the backward bending and the raising of your hips. Okay. And that's usually pretty normal with uh, the first time you'd try to go fast. And that's where I felt like I was initiating that with my arms from okay. here instead of... still think that's fine. It's the, once you get the shaft closer to parallel to the ground, you okay. can't stay bent forward anymore. Okay. You gotta get out of that forward bend. Okay. Still want to have your arms really straight. It's like a long, hard punch again. Nice. Okay, let's check that one out. I still think you mm. get behind that just a touch, yeah. but it's the same yeah. style. Awesome. Backswing. Keep doing that. Ugh, yeah, give me a second. Hmm. Yeah, your arms are more bent than the practice. Um, and you still hit behind the ball. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you need to bend backward more and still have your arms straight. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's keep going on this side. Oh. So you went from the 24 forward to now three degrees forward. Your hips were three degrees back, now they're eight back. So you're doing this better, it's just not as good as the practice swing was. So can you do one practice swing just next to the ball? And then we'll hit again. And then this is the part you do, you need to do with your driver, mm -hmm. all of your long clubs. Good. Now you see how that one, the club just grazed the mat. That's mm -hmm. the amount of downward do strike you need. If you hit the mat harder, you should sell yourself, okay, I need to bend backwards sooner and more. Yeah. Hmm. That's good. Okay. Smash this one again, just like uh, the two attempts you had. Oops. Rip it out there. Throwing the brakes on fast. Nice, pretty good. Straighten your arms out a little mm. bit more. Good. So yeah, they should be locked. Yeah. Really straight. Yep. Really straight, and your shoulders and head should feel like they're back as far as you can go. Do you like feeling like almost like engaged here, and like keeping your arms super straight, and then just feeling like you're rotating? It's more like your torso is turning. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so the moment you hit for you, which would be good advice, you would hit, flex your elbow, flex your wrist, and your arms would start to uh, just keep um, <laughs> abducting away from you. They'd just pull away from your chest. You need to feel like it's yeah. all locked from the moment you right. hit all the way through. Yeah. It's not, it just has to feel that way. Yeah, definitely. Good question. Okay, same thing. I'm just putting <laughs> the stick up by your head again. Okay. Throw the brakes on fast, smash it out there. Good, a little mm. fat again, so yeah. what does that tell you? That That's the ball kind of tell you? Uh, hold on, let me... So that, that ball will tell you, in spite of the, uh, <laughs> the delay there, the ball tells you when it's fat, yeah. you gotta do it more. Yeah. Kind of makes sense? Okay. When you were going slower, it was okay. Yeah. Now you're going faster, it's a little harder for you to get out of that forward bend again. That's why I'm trying to keep this up by your head. Keep stretching yourself out so your face doesn't get closer to it. <laughs> nice. Mm -mm. Pretty close. Mm -mm. I like it. Okay. Here 
you good? Mm -mm. When, you, like that. when you say no, what, uh -uh. <laughs> I didn't do it right with my arms. <laughs> okay. That one, uh, what, I'll film this next one for you, but as you're hitting these, your head and your neck are still flexed oh, forward. You just got to keep yeah. going back. Okay. And that can even feel, Marissa, like it's happening into the downswing. Yeah. It's just the backward bending you're doing is happening too late. So you hit behind it and your yeah. elbows are bent. Then oh. you move yourself back. <laughs> yeah, you got Because learning that coordination is okay. what you're practicing right now. Better. Pretty good. Just about got it. That's the type of shot you want to hit, I think, anyway, are these like high draws. I wouldn't worry about the curve being right just as long as they're all drawing. Okay. Yeah, those are all drying. Mm -hmm. Got one cut in there, but that's all right. Everybody makes mistakes. <laughs> Good. Are you recognizing still being bent forward a touch through the ball yeah, or not really? Yeah. Okay. So let's do one more practice swing just next to the ball again. Mm -hmm. You should feel like you're just kind of grazing the turf and your head does not hit this rod. Good. Mm. You do it great without a ball there. Really? Yeah. I didn't think that one was good. That wasn't even good? Oh, well, let's, let's test it. I don't want you to feel like this is my opinion. We're going to measure <laughs> this one. Good. Okay. How was that? How, grade yourself one to ten on that one. Mm, six. Man, you're a tough critic. <laughs> Hard doing this. Left arm is straighter. And you're trying to get, you started at 24 back when your right arm was parallel to the ground. You're probably at one forward. Mm. Your heel is mm -hmm. almost over your toe now. You've got your hips more forward. You just need to keep doing those more. 28, 32 back. So you couldn't really hit enough balls just going home and doing that. Let's start right. practicing. And just you can practice practicing a lot at home. that. Yeah. So to review, this is the important part where I think a lot of people go wrong. Okay. Uh, when do you want to start bending backward? When you sit here, here? Yeah. Or maybe even a touch sooner when the shaft's like 45 degrees to the ground. That's when you start to move your hips towards the target, put mm -hmm. all your weight on your front foot, yep, and bend backward so that you wouldn't move your head into this rod. Right. Good. So you did about none of that. You're definitely physically capable of it. You just weren't trying to do that right. through the shot. And that's what makes you look like Colin. And that's a big part to help you keep your arms really straight while still alleviating the angle of attack problem. Yep. Go backwards. All right. Sound good? Perfect. Questions? You got it? Are good. No, I think okay. it's clear. All right. Well, thanks for being part of a little, I think some people like to see what a golf lesson's like, even uh -huh. with someone of your caliber who's really good. So thanks for letting everybody yeah. see that. Thank you. Enjoy. <laughs>